G'day, Ice Cream Lovers. I bet you thought that your screen had frozen then. Tapping on it, waiting to see if you can unstick it. Hey, uh, welcome to this session of Scoop School. Nice to have you on board. We love filming Scoop School stuff. Madeline's behind the counter. Frank's holding everything up for us. There's a whole Scoop Squad here supporting you in your dream of opening or growing your ice cream business. I'll tell you who else is supporting you in that dream. Uh, unbeknownst to you, it's Dippin' Flavors based out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri here. They've sponsored this video. And uh, look, if you want anything that goes to flavor ice cream, you want to put something on top of ice cream, in ice cream, dippinflavors.com. Jim, Ryan, Mary, the whole crew down there will help you out. Dippinflavors.com, D-I-P-P-I-N. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, I want to talk to you in this video about stabilizer. Oh, 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 oh. stabilizer. Everybody thinks that stabilizer is a dirty word. Anything with the word, with the thing Isa on it. Um, I don't know whether that's actually true, but anyway, stabilizer. You know, in this day and age where everyone's trying to have more clean label ice cream, why do you need to put stabilizer in? What does stabilizer do? And uh, I wanted to just give you a very quick overview of stabilizers, uh, what they're made of and what they do, because in fact, if you want to grow a wholesale business, if you want to get a pint business going, if you're doing novelties, even if you want the best quality ice cream, you're going to need some form of stabilization. What we have here, I've got two ver uh, 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 versions, if you will. This is called Stabilize. This is from the Irish rice company uh, and this is all natural stabilizer number 115 from Lloyd's of PA both are scoop school sponsors who left their phone on who left their phone on ring 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 stabilizer in and of itself is more than likely produced from a plant-based organism uh, so in this uh, all-natural stabilizer bag. It's basically got locust bean gum, guar gum, carrageenan, standardized with sugar. Sugar is the carrier because you'll find that a stabilizer powder is very, very fine. And if you just put a stabilizer in and of itself into an ice cream mix, you'll find that it will clump, it won't hydrate properly. So you need a carrier, if you will, in order to get stabilizer to mix through your mix. And uh, sugar tends to be the best one. Keeps it nice and separate and uh, helps it mix very well. Now, a word to the new into the business. If you're buying a mix, a, uh, a mix from a dairy or a mix company, it's already stabilized, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're making your own mix, if you're making a water-based product, or you're basically concocting something up in your kitchen, in your store, you're going to want to put some stabilizer in it. So just to be clear, if you're buying a pre-made mix from a dairy, a mix company, it's already got stabilizer in it. This is only for people who are doing something from scratch. So this stabilizer Stabilize product uh, helps people who are making water ice from scratch in that they are using sugar and water to make their sorbet or their water ice base. And then you'll need some of this Stabilize to basically make all of those ingredients play together and give you longevity in the case. This will also uh, stop the flavor and the ice particles from separating. Again, it's made from all natural products. Now, is there a stabilizer tree that you can go, hmm, what, what, what bag of stabilizer was I pull from the tree today? Ah, oh, there's number 115. Bing. It's not, it's not that kind of all natural, but it is made with natural products. So it really does depend on what your uh, definition is of all natural. But most, if not all, of your stabilizer products are plant-based or derived from plant-based. And again, the most common, as is mentioned here in this one here, uh, locust bean gum, guar gum, carrageenan. Now, a good quality stabilizer, the better quality stabilizer, means that you don't have to put as much in. Some ice cream recipes, if the stabilizer blend is really very high quality, you will need just a fraction of a percent of that recipe in its stabilizer. Uh, now, if you have any questions uh, about stabilizer, talk to the company or talk to either one of these companies, uh, Lloyd's of PA or uh, the crew at iRice, because they will really give you the best 
best application from it. But my purpose in this video is to tell you that stabilizer is not a dirty word. Stabilizer typically comes from a plant-based source. It's typically all natural. Uh, and it's only to be used if you are making a product from scratch. The better quality products that we have, the more volume we get in the store. Uh, if your products last longer in the case, if they have better quality life uh, when they're in pints or quarts or novelty and you've got them through distribution or other ice cream shops, this will keep that product much more fresh, a much better mouth feel and taste in the long term, if it will, if you cheapen the process of stabilization or don't use it at all. Look, leave a comment down below. I'm interested in your comments, uh, but uh, don't, don't think that if you've got stabilizer in your ingredient deck that people will frown against it because honestly, it's needed if you want a good quality product to last a long time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for our episode sponsor, Dip and Flavors. If you have a question about the ice cream business, we are here to help you. We want to help you. Uh, one thing I'm gonna ask of you though, is it too much to ask you to subscribe? Hit subscribe, hit like, hit the little bell. Every time we post a video, it'll go ding -a -ling, ling and you'll go, oh, Steve's on the phone, Steve's on my phone, Steve's on the screen, and uh, watch another uh, five or six minutes of ice cream goodness. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.